Hello and welcome to this How Tech video tutorial. In this video we're going to show you how to delete a blank page in Word 2016. So there may be a blank page for multiple different options. So for this example we just have a bunch of carriage returns there. Very simple. If you wanted to see them you could hit that button to show all those. And we can just go ahead and delete all them. This may happen if you converted a file or opened up someone else's file. Just keep it in mind. Here we have a page break. You can see that big indentation there. You can just hit backspace on that. And here we have an interesting example. Say you have a table at the bottom of a page and there's a basically a floating table here. And you have an extra blank page over here. And if we hit backspace on that, nothing's gonna happen because it's a floating table. So one of the things we can do to remedy this is select the entire table and change the font size to something a little smaller if it had to be right at the bottom of your page. I'd recommend trying to move the table, removing a column if possible, or a row rather. Another example is if you had a picture and maybe some weird things were happening there. It's kind of harder to replicate with a picture, but say for whatever reason it was a floating picture and you had a blank page on the other side. There's a few different things you can do to remedy this. We'll select our picture, hit the format, and we can wrap our text to something other than the default in line with text. Probably something around behind text would be best. So we have some turns there. We can throw some text in here. And if we move that there, we can move it anywhere on the page very easily and simply. Very quite a bit of freedom as opposed to in line with text which puts some complications and we can't move it around exactly where we want it. So behind text works for that. This has been a How Tech Video Tutorial. Please like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.